Hello everyone, today in this video we'll fight against the Admas character of our world around us and this time we will uh, talk about not one book but about a special relationship between books and bibliophile. So uh, you will hear some confessions of bibliophile, in this case uh, confessions of myself and taking into account that I'm a I'm a diagnosed bibliophile by many of my many of people who many people who know me and the, some of them even claim that I'm a pathological bibliophile I have to tell you that books uh, have to uh, first let's uh, answer uh, to the question what what are the features of a good book the features of a good book uh, are as follows first uh, of this feature is quite obvious that the content of the book so its content needs to be good interesting professional and enter sometimes entertaining sometimes serious depending what is this what this book is about and the, the other feature of a good book is good graphical part so good illustrations i noticed that with time I appreciate more and more uh, fact when illustrations are properly done, when the cover illustration uh, represents entire book and tells the story, then it's perfect. When the illustration inside the book are placed in the proper uh, place, because when uh, we read about something uh, and we have illustration depicting these events described on the pages which are 20-30 pages back or 20-30 pages uh, after the illustration then I have to tell you that this book is not well uh, constructed because illustrations that accompany the text should also be in a proper place uh, to uh, be um, together with their description or the text that refers to them within the text of the book then reader can follow also by reading and by visual inspection with his eyes can follow the content and the content is diverse because the content consists of the text and the picture so it's very important as I said I, ha I really hate when pictures are 30 pages back or 30 pages or 20 after the described events it's no go so these are the features of a good book illustrations are very important including cover illustration with age i appreciate them even more and i really like them even more if they are properly done and properly placed within the book another thing that uh, within my confessions of the bibliophile I would like to share with you is that between a book and the bibliophile, the reader, there is such a bond. It's a metaphysical bond that we feel connected to the books even after reading or before. Even when we possess the book, we know that it's our book. I will give you the example. For instance, I was uh, I borrowed once uh, one's book to one of my colleagues. It was The Greeks in Bactria in India by William Wardrop Tarn. And this person read this book, of course, and later he decided to buy his own copy. And after he read the book and uh, purchased his own copy, this person asked me, Marius, do you want your own book back, the copy you, uh, you borrowed me, or do you want to have a new one I just purchased for myself? So I said, F friend, everything is fine, but please, if it's not a problem, bring me my old copy I just uh, borrowed you because I'm mentally uh, connected to this book. Of course, this person, as, a, an, as a, another bibliophile, he immediately understood that between me and my books, and this one in particular, what I mentioned, is a, there is a special bond. And this is the special bond between bibliophile and a book. And books also, as I mentioned, they are carriers of content, but uh, 
especially when they are serious books, valuable, valuable books, they should be very nicely uh, prepared and published in a nice physical form, like hardcover, like nice illustrations. Sometimes books can be nice also in a soft cover, but they cannot be too thick because then they break. For instance, I have two books like Collection of Historical Sources for Hellenistic Period and Collection of Historical Sources Translations both in English from Muslim Spain. They are really thick, nice books, but unfortunately I managed to get them in a, uh, a soft cover, so I need to be careful not to break them uh, in half or in three parts when I'm uh, using them. I have to be careful for their back not to not to make it crack. Oh, there is even a red. I have to be careful for their back not to make it crack. So we see and I hope I convince you that uh, between bibliophile and his or her, depending who we are talking about, books, there is a special bond, special connection. And I hope I also convey to you clearly what are the features of a good book. Take care. Have a nice day. Bye.